Now, in this question is asking the total number of hydroxyl groups present in the molecule of the major product P. Now, what he is doing, the compound is given to us and the first reagent is Lind Large Catalyst and the second one is Bayer's reagent. So, let us start the solution. So, we can say that we have a 5 membered ring and with that 5 membered ring CH2, C triple bond, C, CH2 and then a 6 membered ring is attached and the structure will be like this. Right now, on adding palladium BSO4 with quinolin, that is Lindlar catalyst, we know that syn addition will take place and this alkyne will get reduced to alkene. So, nothing will happen to the double bond of this cyclopentene and we will get CH2 here and C double bond C hydrogen hydrogen and CH2 and the ring of cyclohexene right now in the next reaction he is reacting it with the Bayer's reagent. So, that is dilute KMNO4 in basic medium, right. So, what will happen? Syn addition will take place and we will get vicinal diols. So, the oxidation of the double bond will take place here. We will get OH here, 1 OH here, vicinal diol and CH2 and C H H OH OH and CH2 and at the end this double bond will be oxidized and we will get 2 OH here. Now, he is asking in the question how many hydroxyl groups are present. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 hydroxyl group are present in this product. So, in the product P, it is 6 is the correct answer. Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question he is asking the decomposition reaction twice N2O5 on heating decomposing to twice N2O4 plus O2 is started in a closed cylinder under isothermal isochoric condition at an initial pressure of 1 atmosphere. After y into 10 to the power 3 seconds, the pressure inside the cylinder is found to be 1.45 atmosphere. If the rate constant of the reaction is 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 per second, it means that it is a first order reaction. Assuming the ideal gas behavior, the value of y is that we have to find out. Let us move on to the solution. So, the solution is now we have twice N2O5 and it is decomposing. It is decomposing to twice N2O4 plus O2. This is the equation which is given to us. Now, initial pressure, initial pressure that is 1 atmosphere and when the reaction is not started, the pressure of N2O4 and oxygen will be 0 and after the reaction, the final pressure final 
pressure. The final pressure will be 1 minus 2x, 2x and x. Let us assume that oxygen is having the pressure is equal to x, right? Now, if you find out the total pressure of this particular reaction, finally, so the total pressure, total pressure will be equal to the pressure of N2O5 that is 1 minus 2x plus 2x the pressure of N2O4 plus x the pressure of oxygen. Now this 2x and this 2x will get cancelled out and we will get 1 plus x and this total pressure is given to us and that is equal to 1 point 4, 5 atmosphere, right? Now, from here we can find out the value of x and that x is equal to 0 0.45. Now, if we put this value here, we will get the final pressure of N2O5. So, we can say that the initial concentration A0 a naught is the initial concentration of N2O5 will be proportional to its initial pressure and A that is the final concentration will be proportional to 1 minus 2x that is equal to 1 minus 2 into 0 0.45 that is equal to 0 0.1. It means that we have this A proportional to 0 0.1. Now, since it is a first order reaction, what we have to do? We have to apply the formula relating the time and the rate constant. So, we know that for first order, T is equal to 2.303 upon K log A naught by A, right? So, the values given to us are the value of K is given to us and that is 5 into 10 to the R minus 4. So, what we have to write here? T is equal to 2.303 upon. Now, if you talk about K, it is given here, it is twice N2O5. That is why we have to multiply it by 2 and we will write 2 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, minus 4 log the value of A naught is proportional to proportional to 1 and A is proportional to 0 0.1. So, we will write 1 divided by 0 0.1 and the final answer which we will get will be 2.3 into 10 to the power 3 seconds, right? So, we have to fill that blank. The value of y is 2.3, right? Let us move on to the next question. So, in this question is asking the mole fraction of urea in an aqueous urea solution containing 900 gram of water is 0 0.05. If the density of the solution is 1.2 gram per centimeter cube, the molarity of urea solution is that you have to find out. Let us move on to the solution. So, the solution is now what we have given the given is mole fraction of urea. So, we know that 
द मोल फ्रैक्शन एक्स बी इज इक्वल टू एन बी अपॉन एन बी प्लस एन ए वेर ए इज द सॉल्वेंट एंड बी इज द सोल्यूट राइट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द मोल फ्रैक्शन इज गिवन टू अस दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड इट इज इक्वल टू एन बी इज नॉट गिवन टू अस वेट इज नॉट गिवन टू अस वी कैन नॉट फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स फ्रॉम हेयर एंड द वेट ऑफ सोलवेंट इज गिवन टू अस एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ऑफ वॉटर राइट सो इट इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड इफ यू डिवाइड इट बाई एटीन वील गेट द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ वॉटर दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इक्वल टू एन बी अपॉन एन बी प्लस फिफ्टी राइट एंड वेन वील सॉल्व इट फॉर एन बी दैट विल बी इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री सो द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वेट एंड वेट ऑफ यूरिया डब्ल्यू बी वी कैन फाइंड आउट बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स बाई इट्स मोलर मास एंड द मोलर मास ऑफ यूरिया इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड द वेट विल बी वन grams now this is the weight of solute let's find out the weight of solution so weight of solution we have to find out and that is equal to weight of solute that is 157.8 plus weight of solvent that is 900 g of water and if we add them we will get 105 Seven point eight grams. Now this is the net weight of that particular solution. And if we want to find out the volume of this, we can write the formula that is density is equal to mass upon volume. Okay. So for volume of solution, we can write weight of solution. upon its density now we weight of solution we have already found that is equal to 1057.8 upon density of the solution is given in the question and that is equal to 1.2 g per cm cube so it is 1.2 g per cm cube and it will be equal to 881.5 ml so this is the volume of the solution we have to find out the molarity of the solution so let's find out the molarity molarity is the number of moles of the solute divided by the volume of the solution so number of moles that is nb upon volume of the solution and that is equal to number of moles we know that it is equal to 2.63 so it is 2.63 divided by the volume volume we have found that is equal to 881.5 but we have to convert milliliter into liters so we have to multiply by 10 to the r minus 3 here and the final answer which we will get is equal to 2.98 moles per liter so when we will fill that blank we will write 2.98 molar so this is the final answer let's move on to the next question